Hi, welcome back uh, to my channel. So in this episode I want to answer a question I received about my episode number 15 where I discussed how to use the AcroF uh, to produce uh, some noise or basically to jump some, uh, some channel, for example the FM radio. So I received uh, uh, recently a question by Alessandro Genova and he asks, since the AcroF can only cover 20 MHz of bandwidth uh, in transmit mode but also in receive, and uh, since uh, uh, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi are wider than that, uh, for example, the Wi-Fi protocol has about uh, um, on the 2.4 gigahertz as uh, uh, let me have a look uh, as about uh, yes, it goes from it's about 80 megahertz wide, and similarly the Bluetooth protocol is also 80 megahertz wide. And by the way, they use the same frequencies as you can as you can see. Uh, so, how is it possible to, to jam uh, using the AKRF uh, these uh, protocols? So, um, the answer to this question, uh, I mean, first, conceptually speaking, it would be possible. As you can see here, the Wi-Fi is channelized, okay? So, each transmission on, on the Wi-Fi, for example, your computer, is using only uh, one of these channels, and there are 11 channels plus uh, three uh, ones that are not used uh, uh, everywhere. And uh, each of the channel is 22 megahertz uh, wide. So technically speaking, it is possible to jam to target a single channel. And uh, uh, you know, it would be also possible to disturb uh, a lot of them, in particular all of them, by, for example, uh, jamming for a little bit this channel, then moving uh, to this other channel, then this channel and all the channel. And if you do this, for example, by changing frequency 100 times per second, you are disturbing uh, Mm, all of them statistically 10% of the time this, 10% of the time this, etc, etc. So it would be possible to, to disturb uh, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth as well. The fact is that um, it's not so easy because the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth have been designed to be very resistant to noise and interference. And if you think about that, it's normal because uh, we are using all the time, uh, uh, you know, one channel, for example, my router of my flat uh, at the moment is using channel 9. And, you know, I can have uh, several computers connected uh, to the router, each uh, using these frequencies, and uh, they are not disturbing each other. So the way this is uh, done, uh, this way of resisting from interference is by channel hopping. So basically each of the devices is inside one channel, is moving between frequencies uh, many times per second, and uh, in a pseudo random way and this allows basically to resist uh, noise and the same thing is for bluetooth um, right so it, in practice it's not so easy to jam a wi-fi or bluetooth and definitely not with the acraf uh, with the power edit, uh, that uh, it can emit but uh, here i want to, to demonstrate that so the moment i have the acraf uh, there is at the moment the porta pack board but it's not being used okay so the acraf is connected to to my computer with the USB cable and I plugged in the, in the AKRF a proper 2.4 gigahertz uh, antenna okay this is an old uh, antenna of an old router of mine TP-Link and so I've connected it uh, to the AKRF to have a proper transmission and I'm going to transmit the noise using the maximum power admitted by the AKRF so uh, let me show you uh, the new radio um, sketch that I'm using is the same that I used my episode uh, 15 uh, and as you can see um, let me go here as you can see here I'm going to emit uh, with maximum power meaning uh, 14 uh, gain for the RF gain and 47 for the IF gain that's the maximum that I can uh, I can do with the ACRF and I'm going to target uh, I, uh, basically channel 9 of the Wi-Fi, okay, where my router is currently transmitting. And so let me just start that. Uh, so I'm going to start uh, the jamming now. And uh, let me actually show you, uh, yeah, the result. So this is the, the jamming uh, application that I am running now. And I can, if I want, uh, so let me uh, see where it is. I can move even a frequency. At the moment I'm targeting channel 1, but if I want, I can move the noise left and right. Okay, so let's go back to about uh, channel 1, uh, channel 9, where my router is, uh, is um, basically transmitting. And let me now reopen the browser, and I can use uh, to, to show you the, um, 
the, the basically the um, uh, the effect of this noise I can try this uh, speed test okay and so you will see uh, there is absolutely no effect of this jamming so let me uh, start that so it's connecting and here is uh, uh, the thing so as you can see here we have a pretty decent speed in fact I think it's not going maximum speed because the computer is registering uh, is recording this video so it's a bit lagging but as you can see we have a lot of speed so the AcroF is really not able to jam uh, uh, the Wi-Fi yeah with too many things going on the computer just uh, starts lagging anyway uh, I'm still emitting noise uh, and let me show you uh, what happens uh, on the Bluetooth so I'm going to the browser and start some music here um. okay and if I go to my app uh, and I try even to move the frequencies um, So as you could see, basically, uh, if it was not lagging too much, uh, there is uh, absolutely no effect of the jamming, or even on uh, Bluetooth. Uh, for the same reason, this is uh, quite, uh, um, you know, noise resistant. It's a noise resistant protocol uh, that uses uh, frequency hopping. Anyway, so the conclusion is that you cannot uh, realistically use the AcroF uh, even at maximum power with or without the porta pack to uh, jam Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. You could probably do that uh, uh, with using an amplifier, but uh, yeah, that I haven't checked and I don't plan uh, to check anytime soon. Okay, so if you, yeah, I hope uh, this um, video was useful. If you have any questions, uh, leave them in the section below and I uh, will try to answer. Bye-bye, uh, I'll see you next time.